Are you needing to weld woven wire mesh together, but you're not sure what's out there or which method is best? Well, in this video, we're gonna go over the four types of welding techniques used on woven wire mesh. So stick around. Hi there, my name's Andrew Kotlar, and I'm here to tell you everything you need to know about the world of welding wire mesh. With over 150 years of experience, WS Tyler will ensure you use a weld that has the quality needed to get the job done efficiently. So to begin, we'll go over the four most commonly used welding types, the advantages and disadvantages of each one, and the factors that determine pricing. So let's get started. Spot welding, sometimes called resistance welding, is the process in which an electrical current is used to generate heat and bond your material. Most of the time it's used when a single layer of wire mesh needs to be joined to itself. This type of welding can be seen in our sock screen gaskets, which are spot welded at the overlapping seam in order to retain the cylinder-like seam. Spot welding is also used to loosely bond multiple layers of mesh. A good example of spot welding multiple mesh layers together is our extruder screens. So they're basically mesh layers stuck together that don't have the complete bond that other welding techniques would create. Spot welding is probably the quickest of all techniques, which can be pretty crucial whenever there's a spike in demand, uh, or the process relies on a quick turnaround. Also, it stands as the least harsh technique, though it's not completely without risk. It's the solution if you're working with material that's a little bit more delicate. Since spot welding uses an electrical current, if the voltage is too high for the material, you may burn through that material rather than bond it together. So if you're going to use this method, it's vital that your staff is well trained on what voltage you use because each material is gonna be different. If you don't, it could result in wasted material and time and that's not good. The other con is, well, <laughs> let's be honest, the bond that spot welding creates doesn't really look the best. If aesthetics are a concern, you might wanna consider one of the other three techniques and speaking of, the TIG welding technique uses a tungsten electrode to bond components to each other. In order to TIG weld mesh, you need to use a thicker mesh. If you use it on a thinner, more delicate material, like single layer mesh, you run the risk of ruining it. To give you an example, when we're forming our Porostar wire cloth, TIG welding is used to bond the multiple layer sheets of sintered mesh to the end pieces of the filter. TIG welding creates a complete seal between what is being welded it's really good for applications where the final product can't leak at all, like, like infiltration parts. Another pro is that TIG welding, out of all the techniques, just makes the best looking seam. Just look at it. Looks pretty good, right? Right? While performance is the most valuable aspect of any piece of equipment, a lot of the material being TIG welded can become fairly expensive. So if you're looking to cut your expenses, you may want to try another method. And the other downside is that it's also a slow process. So if you're looking for a quick turnaround, TIG welding may not be a good fit for you. Plasma welding is similar to TIG welding. It involves using a plasma arc found in a tungsten electrode to bond thick material together. Unlike TIG welding though, plasma welding can be carried out in an automated process, which reduces the chances of user error. But mainly, plasma welding is used when working with long cylindrical materials, such as our premium sand control screens. Just like TIG welding, it creates the same permanent bond that doesn't contain holes or leaks. And it also creates a smooth seam that you'll find looks pretty dang good. The major drawback is that plasma welding is only beneficial when used in applications where an automated system is bonding long cylindrical materials. The software used during this automation can also be difficult to set up depending on the project. Inputting the wrong parameters could result in an ineffective bond. Soldering is a little different than most welding techniques. Typically, when you weld two pieces of material together, you are making them into one unified piece. Soldering, on the other hand, is the process in which a low melting alloy is used to bond material. Soldering works great in any situation when materials can't overlap at the seam. If there's a fine joint between what's being bonded or the material itself is delicate, soldering is also a great solution. 
Now it should be said that soldering takes time. This is not ideal for industries where time is money. Soldering also requires specific fixtures to be done properly. If you're working on a custom solution that you rarely encounter, soldering may not be the most practical solution. To determine how much a job will cost, you must first look at the material. It'll tell you everything you need to know. Single layer projects require a less robust joining process, such as spot welding, and are generally inexpensive. Projects that are more critical and require expensive material, like our Polarstar, they undergo a high quality, labor intensive joining process that tends to be on the pricey side. These are jobs where TIG and plasma welding are perfect. And lastly, when you want no signs of overlap on a delicate material that, that'll require a fair amount of attention to detail, the only way to effectively achieve that type of bond is with soldering. While not as expensive as TIG or plasma, the labor costs place it in the middle of the road when we're talking pricing. And so, we've gone over the four welding techniques, the pros and cons of each, the pricing, and now you will be able to know what welding techniques are right for you. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.